Blancmange, from French, Blanc Manger BLME, is a sweet dessert commonly made with milk or cream and sugar thickened with gelatin, corn starch or Irish moss a source of carrageenan, and often flavored with almonds. It is usually set in a mold and served cold. Although traditionally white, blancmanges are frequently given alternative colors. Some similar desserts are French chef Marie Antoine Kerm's Bavarian cream, Italy's panna cotta, China's anan tofu, Turkey's muhalabi, Hawaii's hapia and Puerto Rico's temblek. The historical blancmange originated some time in the Middle Ages and usually consisted of capon or chicken, milk or almond milk, rice and sugar and was considered to be an ideal food for the sick. Tavuk gogzu is a sweet contemporary Turkish pudding made with shredded chicken, similar to the medieval European dish. Topic history The true origin of the blancmange is obscure, but it is believed by some that it was a result of the Arab introduction of rice and almonds in early medieval Europe. However, there is no evidence of the existence of any similar Arab dishes from that period, though the Arabic mahalabaya is similar, its origins are uncertain. Variants of the dish appear in numerous European cultures with closely related names including Biancamangiare in Italy and Monar Blanco in Spain. Additionally, related or similar dishes have existed in other areas of Europe under different names, such as the 13th century Danish Hwit mousse, white mush, and the Anglo-Norman Blanc Daisiri, white Syrian dish. Dutch kalis from Latin colère, to strain, was known in English as cullis and in French as coulis, and was based on cooked and then strained poultry. The oldest recipe found so far for blancmange is from a copy of the oldest extant Danish cookbook, written by Henrik Harpestrang, who died in 1244, which dates it to the early 13th century at the latest. The Danish work may be a translation of a German cookbook, which is believed to have been based on a Latin or Romance vernacular manuscript from the 12th century or even earlier. The white dish from the original Old French term blanc mangier was an upper class dish common to most of Europe during the Middle Ages and early modern period. It occurs in countless variations from recipe collections from all over Europe and was one of the few truly international dishes of medieval and early modern Europe. It is mentioned in the prologue to Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales and in an early 15th century cookbook written by the chefs of Richard II. The basic ingredients were milk or almond milk, sugar, and shredded chicken usually capon or fish, often combined with rosewater and rice flour and mixed into a bland stew. Almond milk and fish were used as substitutes for the other animal products on fast days and Lent. It was also often flavored with spices like saffron or cinnamon and the chicken could be exchanged for various types of fowl, like quail or partridge. Spices were often used in recipes of the later Middle Ages since they were considered highly prestigious. On festive occasions and among the upper classes, white dishes were often rendered more festive by various coloring agents, the reddish golden yellow of saffron, green with various herbs, or sandalwood for russet. In 14th century France, party coloring, the use of two bright contrasting colors on the same plate, was especially popular and was described by Guillaume Turel, also known as Talevent, one of the primary authors of the later editions of La Viandier. The brightly colored white dishes were one of the most common of the early entremets, edibles that were intended to entertain and delight through a gaudy appearance, as much as through flavor. In the 17th century 1666, the durian was compared to the blanc manger by Alexandre de Rhodes, il est plein d'une liqueur blanche, épaisse and sucre, il est entièrement semblable au blanc manger, concert aux meilleurs tables de France, c'est une chose fort sain, and des plus délicates con puis manger the durian contains a sugar white liquid, it is entirely similar to the blanc manger which is delivered at the best tables in France, this is a very healthy and of the most delicious things one can eat. In the 17th century, the white dish evolved into a meatless dessert pudding with cream and eggs and, later, gelatin. In the 19th century, arrowroot and cornflour were added, and the dish evolved into the modern blancmange. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The word blancmange derives from Old French blancmangier. The name, white dish is a modern term used by some historians, though the name historically was either a direct translation from or a calque of the Old French term. Many different local or regional terms were used for the dish in the Middle Ages. English, blamange, blankmanger, blankmonger, blomanger, blaming Catalan, menjar blanche, menjar blanc, menjablanc Portuguese, monar branco 
Italian, mangiare bianco, biancamangiare, blanmangiare, bramingere Spanish, manner blanco Dutch, Flemish, blanc mengier German, blamenser Latin, albus cybus, esus albus Though it is fairly certain that the etymology is indeed white dish. Medieval sources are not always consistent as to the actual color of the dish. Food scholar Terence Scully has proposed the alternative etymology of bland mangier, bland dish, reflecting its often mild and dainty, in this context meaning refined and aristocratic taste and popularity as a sick dish. See also Anan tofu Custard Flummery Maha Blanca Medieval cuisine